I bought 39 untested Xbox 360 consoles from Goodwill, and in this video, we're gonna test, explore, and fix about 10 of the consoles and see if we can turn a profit. Guys, welcome to The Hampton Hall. My profit goal for this video is 300 bucks, so let's hope we can hit that. Now, uh, we're gonna start with this fat 360 here, which is very beat up and dirty and smells like bugs and uh, flip into the back. It is clearly a Xenon console, uh, no HDMI port, and you can see the port down here definitely says it's a Xenon. Hopefully it's not red ringed, but let's plug it in and see if it works. My nose is getting itchy from all the dust flying out of this console. But let's go ahead and turn it on, see if it works. So three, two, one. Come on, launch, please. Oh yes, let's go. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, oh, oh. That's an old dashboard. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on. No way. Let's go. This is unreal. Are you, s oh my goodness. Dude, what a jackpot. Holy crap. We just hit a Blaze dashboard. Still got a guy signed in here. Wow, this is unreal. Is there a game in here? No, but of course the disk drive is stuck. Just like a, oh. That gave me the full, the full 2006 experience right there. Like, dude, I, I cannot believe we just booted up to the Blades dashboard here on a random console from a huge lot of, what is going on here? All right, we'll, we'll start with the profiles here and check out what, what's on this console. So we got Krogsund here with a five, <laughs> a five star rep. You guys remember rep on the 360? What a throwback. Let's go ahead and click on this profile and see what he's got here. <laughs> this is like grade A 2006 Xbox Live stuff right here. We got, first of all, it says all in one, whatever. Uh, name is Matthew and he's on your mom's couch. Just like, what else do you expect from a 360 of this time in this this era, man? I mean, uh, I'll check out the games library here, and if we got 15 games played, or 15 games on here, last game played was Hexic HD. We got Battlefield 2 demo, we got the Dead or Alive 4 demo, Dead Rising, dude, this is, this is amazing. This is like, this is my guy. He's just got demos galore. I mean, like, this is how you did it back in the days of the 360. You just downloaded as many demos as possible. Uh, they're all free, amazing, great times. And, uh, dude, let's, are there any other profiles here? Let's go ahead and sign out and check it out. We've got, dude, we have 10 profiles on this 360. What a jackpot. All right, we got uh, B, Jessica. We got the guy we just saw, Lauren, Matt, no <laughs> Noizel. And last but not least, we got two down here on Xbox Live, which is uh, S757 Bibg X16X. That's like 2007, man. Um, let's go ahead and open this up and see what's up with it. So we got another five-star rep here, which is great to see. Uh, 2,600 gamer score, and uh, let's see any mess. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you can't make this up. This is this is straight up 2006, 2007 Xbox Live era, man. This is oh, this is the epitome of that. We got uh, uh first of all, it says Robert SKK for life. I don't know what that means. Uh, a bunch of other gibberish. No man's land, and then the last line here. Uh, <laughs> I can't say it or display it, but it says, word, word, you British word. I'll let you guess what that says. Uh, <laughs> and uh, I guess we can go to play games here and see the last games played. Uh, Call of Duty 4, Fusion Frenzy 2, Gears of War, Army of Two, uh, Halo 3 got on 960 gamer score, so he almost finished this game. Yeah, let's go ahead and check out the other Xbox Live profile as well. All right, so this one is Wall, Wall Gameth. Uh, let's go ahead and see if he's got a, wait, wait, hold on, hold on. This guy's got a five-star rep and a 23,000 gamer score. Dude, you are not recreation. You are pro. Like, like just picture this. This is 23,000 gamer score, like, probably a year or two into the life cycle of the 360, because the Blaze dashboard was not, along, not around too long. And the message says, who dares wins, and it says Scott from Suffolk, Virginia, which makes sense, because I bought this whole lot of consoles from Virginia. And going to play games, you also got Call of Duty 4, Dead Space. I mean, we've, <laughs> we've had a remake of Dead Space since, this, since that came out. Uh, Rock Band, Gears of War 2, uh, just... Tons of, how many games are on here? Let me just scroll. I mean, that's impressive. There's like 30 games on here, two years into play. Like, let's check out the hard drive actually and see how many gigs it is. All right, so we got 13.9. So yeah, it's probably a 20 gig hard drive from basically launch. You saw it was manufactured in 2006, so like a year after launch. And one of the other things to note here is that we actually have the marketplace here, which was a tab that was added later to the Blaze dashboard. So this is not like an OG Blaze dashboard console. This is uh, a little bit later. Now checking out, let's go ahead and check the console settings and uh, see what the actual dashboard is. So we are on 2.0.6717, which is uh, actually the very last Blades dashboard that was made. So this is like 2008, right before NXT came out. So we got we got pretty lucky here that they didn't update. Now I feel like there's a chance there's music on here from. No way, we actually have we actually have music on this console. <laughs> Byob, Band Girls, Money, brother, <laughs> dude. I bet there's some tr game trailers here, probably like Halo 3 or something. Uh, we got, wait, 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 this is a music video, isn't it? Yeah, Dave Matthews Band music video from 07 here. Dude, this is like, oh, Army of Two trailer, a skate trailer. 
a debut trailer of something. I mean, like, let's just open one of these up. And dude, even this control bar at the bottom is like, oh, what a throwback. Now next up, of course, we should probably open up the disk drive and try a game. So let's put a game in and see if it works. Of course, we got a Blaze dashboard game we gotta play. So Call of Duty 2, so basically, if you have a game that's too new, it'll force you to update. So we wanna make sure we're playing on a game that's really old. So Call of Duty 2 came out, I think it was a launch game. So this is definitely safe to play. We'll go ahead and put it in. And I actually saw some Call of Duty uh, save data on one of these profiles. So maybe we can find some, some old save data here as well and load it up or not because the console, let me just, let me, let me let you hear this noise right here. You probably can't really hear it, but it's like squealing. Um, definitely not working and now it's, not ejecting, okay, there it goes. And this is one of those situations where you're like, do I fix this console or do I let it just live in its old Blades dashboard glory and let it sit? Because I've actually opened up a Blades dashboard in the past console, Blades dashboard console in the past, and um, physically just from the, the act of opening it up, it, it broke uh, because it was so fragile. So I don't know, maybe, but let's just go ahead and start by turning this thing off. And I'm gonna pop the faceplate off here and see if this thing's ever been opened up before. All right, so faceplate off and wow, I think this thing is unopened, wow. Yeah, that warranty sticker looks fully intact. Flipping to the back, we do have some wear and tear like on the holes, so it looks like it's been attempted to be opened, but I guess they didn't go through with it. Ooh, man, I don't know. I'm not gonna fix it in this video, but guys, let me know down below, do you think I should try to fix this or should I just should I just leave it? But uh, let's go ahead and move on to the next console. So next up, I have a 360 Slim that I think will be pretty interesting. It's, uh, of course, very filthy. And then flip it to the side, we have a, a hard drive with a GameStop warranty or a GameStop, excuse me, GameStop refurbished sticker on it. And by the way, this thing is like not pulling out hardly. Um, but yeah, GameStop refurbished sticker on that hard drive, 250 gigs, barely clicks into place. That's strange. Uh, warranty seal still appears to be intact, maybe. Uh, manufactured in 2010. But let's plug it in and see if it works. Okay, console turning on, free game. Dude, GTA 5, let's go, baby. Oh, that is awesome. All right, we got GTA 5 and ooh, it is scratched up like crazy. Now the downside with GTA 5 is this is just this is just a play game. We have to have the other, other disc to install it. So that's unfortunate, but we got half of it and we have, ooh, we got some profiles. Let's go ahead and check those out. Dude, and of course, <laughs> as I'm trying to check out the profiles, the game auto boots, come on, man, take me back to the home screen. I'm just trying to check out these dang profiles. All right, so we have a few profiles here. We got Briella with no pants on. We have Crested World 8151. Queen Bree and Serenity, all of these have like no gamer score, which is interesting. So Queen Bree played a good bit of GTA 5, not that much, not an Xbox Live profile, but there was one of these profiles was an Xbox Live profile. So let me check that one out and see if they got something on it. All right, here we are. Crested World 8151 played GTA one time maybe? What is the achievement? They, <laughs> oh yeah, so they played the first mission, which is repoing the car and that's it. Oh, dude, how could you play GTA 5 and stop there? Oh, that's, that's so tragic. And of course, there's no bio or anything. All right, well, uh, let's just, uh, well, we already saw the games working. I mean, it booted up and everything. Um, I don't know, this console works perfectly fine despite the fact that it's got a GameStop refurbished sticker on it. Oh no, no, we have, oh, we have family settings on, dang it. All right, so in case you don't, guys don't know, if you have this grayed out initial setup sign, that means that you have family settings turned on, which means you're gonna be blocked from doing th certain things. So we need to guess this, uh, guess this code now. So let me try this. Dude, you can't make this up. Every, every time the code is something easy, like it was just the right trigger four times. That's all it was. <laughs> Dude, I'm checking out the passcode reset question and it's, what's your favorite person from history? And the, uh, the answer is dad. What, what are the chances this person actually has like a really famous dad from history, like a George Washington? I don't know. Well, cool, that was easy enough. Um, but yeah, this console's good to go. It'll be listed down below on my website called jrobgaming.com. QR code's on the screen as well. Uh, go check that out. Let's go ahead and move on to the next console. And just by the way, this is a console number 43. So next up we have another 360 Slim, which is absolutely filthy. And uh, flipping to the side, let's see if we have hard drive inside and stuck. We don't, that's unfortunate. Flip into the back now. Warranty seal is still intact. Manufacture date 2011. And wow, there is so much dust just caked into the port there. Oh gosh, <laughs> I'm about to like sneeze. Dude, we're definitely gonna see some bugs fly out of this one. Um, all right, let's plug it in and see if it works. Dude, I do that every time. I, I'm trying to lean over to plug it in and I accidentally press the eject button. And you can see right now there's no free game in here, but let me plug this all the way in. And boom, the console is booting up. Good sign. And the thing I find funny is about 360s is almost every single Slim I find has this sticker still on it, which is like 
Most people don't care. They just leave it on there and uh, let it ride. But let me know down below, do you guys, <laughs> if you have a 360, did you keep that sticker on your console or did you get rid of it? I don't know, I just kind of find it funny when that thing is still there. There actually is a bug up here on top. I see a fly, a dead fly in there. De oh, that's disgusting. Yeah. All right, well, this console is just straight up freezing on the, as it's booting up. Uh, let me go ahead and look this up and see if I can fix it. So I finally got this console to boot up and uh, I actually had this issue once before in the past. And what I did is I took the hard drive out and they booted it up and it worked fine. So it was just a bad hard drive. Uh, this one, unfortunately, did not have a hard drive to take out. So it's probably an issue with the onboard storage. So what I did is I actually took a hard drive and put it in there. So we have our GameStop refurbished hard drive and it just booted up. So I guess it that fixed it for now. But we're looking at profiles that were that are actually on the onboard storage here. Because no... No Kirio, no Kirio was not on here before. Hold on, hold on. Let me just go ahead and check this uh, system storage right quick and see what it shows me. And yeah, even trying to boot up the storage devices is not loading. So there's definitely an issue with the onboard storage, but like I, I can't access it. Come on, man. Well, well let's just uh, let's just explore the profile for now and we'll deal with that later. So we got Nakiro here. Oh, this is all jacked up. So we can see on this screen it shows, oh no, it froze. Come on, crap. I can't even sign out of the profile. There's just straight up nothing I can do with the internal hard drive. The console just like took off for five seconds then calmed back down. What is going on here? So our next step in troubleshooting here is to take the console apart. And what I'm gonna try to do is remove the internal flash storage to see if we can boot up without that. And because I think that's corrupted or there's something wrong with it, that's why it's not booting up properly. Now we kind of have two things that could happen here. Uh, so the 360 Slim has two different motherboards. We have the Corona motherboard and the Trinity motherboard. Um, now, uh, from looking at the back here, you can look at the, uh, basically the power on here and, um, and the manufacturer date. I believe this is a Trinity motherboard. I don't know for sure. And I think the Trinity motherboard is the one with a removable flash memory where you can just like pop it off the board, which will be really easy. If it doesn't have that, it's going to be a lot more work. But let's go ahead and just finish this tear down here and see what's inside. Like, holy crap, this thing is just absolutely covered in dust. It's like, it's not even dust. It's kind of like the smoker dust, you know, when you smoke in your house and you get this uh, filthy nastiness in here. Yes, I see the module. I can see the flash memory. And now that the disk drive is out of the way, you can see it there. So basically, this is the flash memory inside of the, the console. Um, it's basically built into the console. It's four gigs. And we should be able to just pop it off, I believe. Yep, there it goes. So it's got this little... Uh, well, it's also got a little pad there that kind of holds it in place, but oh yeah. So we have basically a little proprietary connector there that plugs into the board. And so now if we try to boot this up without this piece, I think it'll st still boot up. I'm not 100% sure. I couldn't find too much info online with a quick Google search, but we're here to try stuff out. So let's try it and see what happens. Now for the moment of truth, let's see if it turns on. We got life. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Now, yes, yes, we put it to the main menu. Okay, okay. That's a good sign. And if you go to storage, it should just show up as nothing. Yes, no storage device is found. So it actually loaded up itself. It shows me that. Yes, I think this is working now. Let's go, baby. Of course, since there's no storage on here. Oh, we got, we got a disk in there. That must be why it's showing up as that. Now let's go ahead and try to boot up GTA 5 right here and see if it works. Now sure enough, the game is loading up. I'll probably have to put in the first disk to actually install it, but we don't need to do that right now. I just wanted to make sure it can actually, yeah, there it is. Tell me I need to install the first disk. Uh, but I just want to do this so we can make sure that the you know disk drive is working. I'll, uh, I guess I'll clean out the inside since it's absolutely filthy. And then it'll be listed down below for sale. And uh, let's go ahead and move on to the next console. So next up, we have a console that I'm pretty excited for. And it's a complete unbox. Well, hopefully complete unbox Xbox 360. And you can see it's obviously a slim with 250 gigs. Um, actually comes with two free games. I highly doubt these are in here anymore. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and open this thing up and see what's inside of here. All right, we got on top, we got half of a power brick. We have an HDMI cable, and then we have our console, which, hey, is actually in pretty good condition. Now going further, we have uh, two AV cables, one on this, actually three AV, <laughs> we have two AV cables over here, one over here, and a power brick. I think I see, yeah, there's like a the <laughs> warranty manual thing in there. Um, so yeah, not too much going on inside of there. Let's put that to the side and take a look at the console. And yeah, this console is in really nice condition. I'll flip into the side, let's see if there's actually 250 gigs in here. And hey, there it is. Nice, dude. Always good to see. And we do have still, still have our warranty seal intact, manufactured in 2012, uh, so it should be a Corona motherboard. Let's turn it on. Any free games here? Maybe? Yes, let's go. Halo 4. All right, nice. And apparently it's only disc one, which is just awesome to see. We do have some scratching on the back, nothing, nothing too crazy. Disk drive works perfectly. Let's go ahead and see if the uh, console boots up. Well, before I can even log into our profile, the uh, Halo 4 is booting up and working without an issue. Now, we saw the game works. Now, heading back to the main menu, you can see our profiles now. We got Abby, Alexa, Dad, 
uh, Sherlock, Tristan, and un Unbid Carcass 9. Uh, definitely looks like a family. I mean, there's dad there. It's got to be a family of people playing this 360. We'll go ahead and boot up Unbid Carcass 9 because it's an Xbox Live profile and see what's up with it. All right, so we got no bio, no message. Lame. And last game played is Minecraft in 2020. Wow, that's interesting. So they left... <laughs> <laughs> I bet this copy of Halo 4 has been sitting in here for six years and they just played Minecraft later on and left the console or left the game in there. But then scrolling back, we go all the way back to 2012. Wow. So 2012 to 2020 is actually a pretty wide lifespan for uh, playing 360 games. We've got a kind of mix of mix of games here. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and check out the other profiles. So I'm interested to check out the Alexa profile because she actually has 1850 gamer score. Uh, not too bad. Oh, hold on, hold on. Oh, that's funny how the avatar is just like straight up like looks like your NBA 2K player. Hold on, I forgot you could actually <laughs> make him dizzy. That's funny. Uh, looks like <laughs> you guys know what I'm talking about. Like your your NBA 2K my player rolls in with a brown shirt and, and black pants. Um, but then we got this nice fancy like medieval looking thing in the background. I don't know. Uh, that's kind of cool. Uh, Minecraft in 2020 and Halo 4 in 2017. So hold on. This has like almost the exact same play history. So I'm back on Unbid Carcass 9 and no, these are definitely different profiles. They just have like the exact same play history. I mean, even the gamer score is almost exactly the same. That's that's kind of wild. But of course, the other thing to check is the, the My Games tab. We'll see what kind of games are downloaded on here. And we got 16 games, not bad. Of course, Kingdom for Keflings, Doritos Crash Course, Goat Simulator Trial, Halo 4, um, and of course, Minecraft. Wait, hold on, hold on. I did this on my last video, but let's go ahead and boot up Minecraft and see what kind of world they have saved here. Oh, dude, we have a lot of worlds. All right, I gotta try out Amusement Park. <laughs> okay, so I booted straight up and we got a like a rainbow wall here and just an open field. Uh, I've said it before, but I don't know much about Minecraft. I've only played a handful of times, so I don't really know what I'm doing here. Just a uh, full disclosure, we got <laughs> a bunch of beds and that's about it in here. I'm just breaking stuff. This honestly looks like somebody started a world and they were trying to, I mean, they said amusement parks, so they were probably trying to build an amusement park inside of this wall here and they just never finished. Kind of sad. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> just, I just booted up and immediately died. What is happening? All right, whatever, I, I quit. And we actually didn't finish checking out all the games here. Uh, we also got a few other Peggle, Risk Factions. Ooh, we got Skyrim here. But anyways, this console is good to go, fully working. It'll be listed down below for sale on my website. And let's go ahead and move on to the next one. So next up, we'll try out one of the Xbox 360e consoles. And this one is uh, just looks like it was dragged on the pavement. I don't know why it's so beat up. Now flip into the back. Warranty seal is still intact. And that, oh, this is a games. Oh, no, it's a GameStop console. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> we got our GameStop sticker up here. We've got an Xbox 360 suit. Wait, hold on. They call this a Super Slim. They're mixing up their PS3 and Xbox 360 nomenclature. Uh, and yeah, it's GameStop refurbished. So no clue what we'll find here, um, but it is very filthy. Let's go ahead and plug it in and see what works. All right, well, we're we'll booted up here. Free game? Oh, there definitely is. Yes, let's go. Left 4 Dead 2. Aw, oh, baby. And of course, as per usual, it's very scratched up and there's like a little bit of gunk right there. What? <laughs> How? I don't know. Um, but we got one profile on here. We got at Abby Shop 3 with 300 gamer score. So looks like somebody that picked up a 360 and played one game, aka Left 4 Dead 2. But let's check out the profile and see if that's what happened. Yeah, Left 4 Dead 2 and Red Dead Redemption, oh, Minecraft and Sims 3 Pets. Uh, but Left 4 Dead 2, they actually played a decent amount of uh, back in 2021. Wow, but yeah, nothing else on here. Let's go ahead and put the game in and see if it works. So yeah, the game's loading up. Uh, no issue with this console at all. It'll be listed down below for sale on my website called jrobgaming.com, so go check it out if you're interested. And let's go ahead and move on to the next console. So next up, we have another 360 Slim, which looks like it's literally been dragged through the dirt. I, I, <laughs> I don't know what else to say about that. And flip into the back, we have a manufacturing 2012, and warranty still is still intact, console number 40. Let's see, do we have a hard drive here? I bet we do. Hey, let's go, baby. All right, 250. Now, the real question is, will we have a free game? Let's just start there. Okay. There we go, man. Okay, we got a profile here. And this, dude, this console's in 4x3 mode. We'll switch it up. We'll start with the games this time. Thir Wait a second. It just said 33 games, and it jumped down to 32. How did that happen? Either way, this is a ton of games. We got Dragon Age Origins, Force Unleashed 2, Assassin's Creed Revel. Holy crap. Wait, these are all... Oh my goodness. Holy crap, this is the jackpot. Hold on, hold on. Let me just show you guys full games. You've got Dragon Age Origins, Force Unleashed, Force Unleashed 2, Assassin's Creed Revelations. Holy crap, I'll just scroll through and you guys can pause if you want to see it, but... <laughs> Dude, we have 24 full games, and there's still just some other random like demos and stuff. That 
That's unbelievable. That's that's wild. Okay, so this is a X, XGC sortie. I bet it. Oh, it's got 19,000 gamer score. No surprise there. Drunken Fist, <laughs> Joshua and Cameron. So this is like a shared profile. That's funny. And uh, ask if interested in joining XGC. What is XGC? So I'm sure some sort of like clan or something. Let me know down below if you know. Uh, but uh, this <laughs> this is unreal. Uh, we got GTA 4 is the last game played here. That's funny, playing GTA 4 in like 2017. 113 games played? Wow, and the very first one was Burnout Paradise in 2008. So that, <laughs> from 2008 to 2017 is a wide span. All right, let's go ahead and open the tray up, put a game in, and see if it works. <laughs> we got the classic booted up Call of Duty 2. Uh, but the game's working. But anyways, this console is fully working. It'll be listed down below for sale on my website. And of course, it'll be listed with all of the games that are already on here. Uh, let's go ahead and move on to the next console. So next up, we have a Glossy 360 Slim, which is uh, pretty beat up as all the Glossy ones are. Now let's go ahead and check if we have a hard drive here. And we do, 250 gigs, dude. <laughs> it's actually amazing how many hard drives I've gotten in this lot so far. Uh, manufactured in 2010, warranty still still in tech. Let's go ahead and plug it in, turn it on, see if it works. And wait, dude, I think this is, hold on. This is the console I actually tested briefly in my unboxing video because it still has the <laughs> it still has the disc tray sticker on the disc tray itself which is hilarious but let's, let's go ahead and fully test this thing out there and oh yeah this definitely is the same the same console i tested out in a previous video basically the unboxing video i'll throw it on the screen if you want to check that out uh, anyways this console is good to go it'll be listed for sale down below let's go ahead and move on to the next one so next up i have another glossy 360 slim which of course very beat up now flip into the side the real question is do we have a hard drive and what do you know? We do. Amazing. Uh, flip into the back. Oh, hold on, hold on. Ooh, no, no, no. It's a GameStop refurbished console. Come on, man. And it's even had the GameStop refurbished sticker removed, so you know somebody's done something inside. But let's go ahead and <laughs> plug it in and see if it works. We got power here. Now, do we have a free game is the real question. And, oh, baby, Skate 3. Oh, this is probably my favorite 360 game. So this, oh, that's amazing. This looks not too terrible. And... It boots up without an issue. Now, does the game load? That's the real question. Now, a uh, profile here is called Alone Ant 1197029. Okay, that looks like a generic name. Um, and yes, indeed, the game is loading up. I don't know anything about skating in real life, but I, I love the skate games. They're just, I don't know, they're kind of like, it's almost like GTA on, on a skateboard in some ways. Uh, definitely a fun game, though. Oh. Oh. Why? Oh, yeah, here we go. Here we go. Yeah, we got the Beast. We got Awesome, Brody. Uh, G <laughs> of course, we got Jesus here. Well, anyways, the game is working. I could mess around on this game all day long. But let's go ahead and check out these profiles here. See if we have anything else on this console. We got, let's see, we have our standard profile of Alone Ant. We got Marine, Mr. <laughs> Mr. Super Awesome, and Skya. Mr. Super Awesome, don't let me down. Oh, he didn't let me down. Dude, what a what a profile here. You got the shorts, the cowboy boots. Oh, that's uh, amazing. Skate 3, Minecraft. Uh, but yeah, this console's good to go. It'll be listed down below for sale. Let's go ahead and move on to the next one. So next up, I have another 360E, and this one's actually not quite as beat up. Let's go ahead and see if we have a hard drive in here. I'm sure we probably do. Yep, what do you know? A 250, and dust flies everywhere. Hold on, actually, oh no, the, ooh, the side of this console is disgusting. Ugh. Okay, well, let's plug it in, see if it works. It's three, two, one. We got life. Do I hear a game inside? No, no game. Oh, we got some profiles here. We got Applied Clover 6, Beast 35, Beast Killer 35. <laughs> Wait, that's hilarious. We got Beast 35 and Beast Killer 35. <laughs> uh, Sound Wolf, Holy Shotgun, and uh, this is actually some funny profiles on here. Let's go ahead and check these out and see what's up. Oh, stud. Yes. That is the most 360, yes, be a baller, yes. Stud and be a baller, that is the the most, and his name is Brendan, yes. Okay, okay, this is what I'm talking about here. Black Ops 2 in 2017, yes. Uh, FIFA 16, MLB 2K 13, and playing that in 2016, why? I don't know, oh, dude, he played NCAA 14 back in 2015. Should've left that in the console for me, that'd be worth like, the same amount as three consoles themselves. The, the game is so expensive. I got Soundwolf up next. What is what is going on with the profile picture? I can't even tell what that is. Uh, oh, he's got 9,500 gamer score. Coffee swag. I, I guess it looks like it likes coffees. It looks pretty fancy. And uh, nothing, no bio, but let's check out the last time it was played. Call of Duty Ghosts back in 2017. Uh, Rainbow Six in 2016. And the game's booting up here without an issue. Now, the last thing I want to check is the My Games. Let's see if they have any games downloaded here. All right, moment of truth. Do we have, ooh, we got something. We got Fruit Ninja Connect, jackpot. Uh, Hexic HD on every console ever. 
Risk Factions Skate 3, which I just put in the console, the Gunstinger, and Trials HD. Uh, so not much, but the console is fully working. It'll be listed down below for sale. Let's go ahead and move on to the next one. So next up is another 360 Slim, and this one is in pretty dang nice condition. Now, is there a hard drive? You betcha there is. Man, there always is. 250, wait, wait, 320, oh. Hold on, is this, is it, this must be the 320 from the Halo console. I think it's the, what is it? The Halo 4 console I think has 320 in it. Nice, dude. And we got the warranty seal still intact. Man, that is even more of a jackpot than I thought. Let's plug it in and see if it works. All right, plug it in. Is there a game? Oh man, no free game. I wonder, somebody had to intentionally buy the 320 gig hard drive and put it in here. So maybe there's a bunch of games downloaded? I hope so, let's let's check. Uh, honestly, probably not. The hard, the, the profile is here, 255, 140, 60, 1145. So not much going on here. Uh, Raptor speeding has the most. But let's go ahead and start with the uh, the My Games tab and just see if there's anything downloaded. Oh, dude, I was right. We got Angry Birds Trilogy. Hold on, let me just move this to full games right here. 29, full. oh, dude, yeah, I was right. Somebody just bought this big hard drive to download a bunch of games. Angry Birds Trilogy, Battlefield 2, uh, Call of Duty Black Ops, Call of Duty Elite, Crisis 3, Dirt 3, F1 2013, Fallout New Vegas, Family Game Night. Uh, I'll just keep scrolling and you guys can read it if you want to. Metro 2033, uh, Heart Pop Pursuit, Once Upon a Monster, what is that? I don't know, Skyrim, Sniper Elite V2. Dude, this is insane. And dude, like this, this console must have come from somebody else or somebody must have deleted their profile because how do you have like four profiles and the most any of them have is 1145 gamer score, but you have 29 games downloaded? Uh, something strange is going on here. And this, hold on, this console was last played in 2022, Family Game Night 3. Impressive, okay, okay, I see you. A lot of, <laughs> played a bunch of Wipeout as well. Yes, yeah, so the first game played was 2020, so I'd, I'd have to guess this console was handed down or, or sold to somebody else and they somehow kept all the games but deleted the profile, uh, something along those lines. I don't know. Let me just boot up one of the games and make sure it works. Yes, yeah, so game is working here, and man, what, what a lot. The number of consoles we found in here that had hard drives, and not just hard drives, but titles downloaded, and then the Blades dashboard console, just amazing. I'm sure we hit a profit goal. I'll throw the profit on the screen. But guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Remember, we'll have Hampton Hall episodes every Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday throughout December, so make sure to tune in. And guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.